for most of us, the kitchen is the heart of the home, whether you're an avid cook or a takeout junkie, if you have a large kitchen or a small one. And most of us have ideas of what our dream kitchen would look like, but it's time to stop imagining and maybe we should just make it a reality. So Sharon is back to show us how to take our inspiration and incorporate it into our existing kitchens. And Sharon, I'd love to know from you, where have you drawn your inspiration from recently? Well, you know what, Trace, there's no shortage of kitchen inspiration online and magazines and, of course, on our very own city line. <laughs> but I have been really inspired um, by a hardcover book by an architectural writer, John Oda, who's also a friend of mine. He wrote this awesome book, The Kitchen, A Journey Through History in Search of the Perfect Design. And it was so wonderful to hear these wonderful stories about historic kitchens, 13 vastly different ones across North America. And then they're different, their histories, their style, and how he marries the characters of the homeowners with, um, with these kitchens. So really, you get to know a lot about people from their kitchen, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, for sure. I mean, you can learn a lot about me just opening my fridge and it's actually information I don't want you to have. <laughs> so let's talk about a couple of kitchens <laughs> that, that really sort of um, spoke to you in this book. Well, there's 13, they're awesome, but the two that really, really struck a chord with me was that of renowned chef Julia Child mm. and one of my favorite artists, Giorgio O'Keefe. Now, they're different eras, obviously very different personalities, but what really struck me was how well you can translate their styles into today's kitchen, decor, design. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. So let's start with the Grand Dame herself, Julia Child. Yes, Julia. Well, she was a chef, so her kitchen was definitely very lived in. She thought of it more as a workroom than a showroom for sure. So you might even say it's cluttered, but it was very fun. She had lots of things, very efficient, but it was also very organized. She had a place for everything, and I think that's key. But overall, I really love how cheery and happy and kind of nostalgic the overall color palette was. And of course, the materials are very practical for her. There's something about the look that, you know, she did French cooking and there's a French look to the kitchen. It's sort of like um, very kind of rustic and it's not too precious, but you know good food is coming out of that kitchen. So how would we get some of that look today, Sharon? So I think to get that look, it's about the materials for sure. So practical butcher block countertops, still very trendy today. I might mix in a bit of stainless steel for countertops because that's also inspired by commercial kitchens and very pop popular and practical. Not for people who don't like to see a scratch or a stain, mind you, but for the rest of us, it's, it's awesome. Um, as far as tiles and backsplashes, that sort of thing, I think Julia and if you're lo looking for this style, you want to look at more practical things like porcelain and ceramic that's easy to clean. Now, I'm not thinking just white subway tiles. No, 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 not for Julia. She would want some pattern and some color, so maybe a handmade tile mixed in there with your neutral ones, or maybe even a glass tile where you could actually get a little bit of of color. Now with the wood countertops, you want to bring in some color for the countertop, uh, sorry, for the cabinets to have a little bit of contrast. So inspired by Julia's kitchen, I would say something like Wyeth Blue would be awesome mm. on those cabinets. Or maybe you could bring in a nice green, like one of the historic Kittery Point Green, or pale yellow, like Wyndham Cream. I think these colors would just really suit with those little hits of reds. Oh my gosh, I agree 100%. Now, I love that vintage designed hardware is trendy again. Let's talk about that. Yes, definitely. The chrome on Julia's kitchen and a lot of kitchens that we see in the 60s is back, but we're kind of seeing it in a more sophisticated, like polished nickel, so something a little heavier, or in a matte black if you wanted to bring in a bit of a modern spin. But as far as vintage overall, you want to bring some of those vintage china um, dishes, dishware if you have them, or anything vintage. Vintage linens. I think look at traditional linens, like the yellow and white check. That was one of Julia's favorites. And I think the red and white check, you can kind of bring a lot of that in in different ways and different colors. Let's move on to Georgia O'Keeffe now. I'm thinking there would be a lot of color in her kitchen. You know what, Trace? I thought that too because I'm so in love with Georgia's beautiful, oversized, floral, colorful paintings. But her kitchen was actually very modern and very white. 
Now, just because it's not colorful, it was still very warm with lots of natural materials. So although she had a lot of white on white, the natural, um, the natural colors, the natural woods, reclaimed wood, I think um, whitewashed wood, that sort of thing brings a bit of a rustic texture. So we can definitely do that today. And then overall, the palette though was very pared down. So it was really about looking out at that beautiful view that she had in New Mexico and bringing some of that in if we don't have a beautiful view in your kitchen. I know I don't, but you can certainly bring that in with wall color and maybe artwork in your kitchen. Okay, now what paint colors would work with this look now? Well, good question, Trace. Certainly natural inspired colors. I think the white that we would want is something a little bit more toned, like cloud cover or maybe simply white for cabinets. But to bring colors that were inspired by the earth, like pashmina, potter's clay, Chelsea gray. So again, you can just imagine them. They're very calm and very muted. And they really work well with the organic forms lots of wood, you've got slate tile, stone, and definitely quality materials. I think Georgia has very few, but high quality. So cast iron and stainless steel, that sort of thing. And any pattern should just be simple pattern like in woven textiles for a runner or maybe some wall hangings. Mm, I like that vibe actually. Sharon, thank you so much for that.